Hello everyone. Welcome to this quick video where we'll be answering some frequently asked questions about my SQL databases. If you're an advanced level developer working with my SQL, this video is for you. We'll be covering some common questions you might have. Kindly consider subscribing to this channel so that you will be the first to receive notifications when we release new videos. So let's get started. What is query optimization? And how do you optimize my SQL queries? Query optimization is the process of optimizing SQL queries to improve database performance. In my SQL, you can optimize queries by using indexes, avoiding subqueries, optimizing join queries, and using the explain statement to analyze query performance. What is partitioning? And how do you use it in my SQL? Partitioning is the process of dividing a large table into smaller, more manageable parts called partitions. It's used to improve query performance and simplify data management. In my SQL, you can use partitioning by creating partition tables and specifying partitioning criteria. What is database sharding and how do you use it in my SQL? Database sharding is the process of dividing a database into multiple smaller, more manageable databases called shards. It's used to improve scalability and reduce the load on individual database servers. In MySQL, you can use sharding by creating multiple databases and using a sharding strategy, such as range or hash-based sharding. What is replication lag? And how do you reduce it in my SQL? Replication lag is the delay between changes made to the master database and their propagation to the slave databases in a replication setup. It can lead to data inconsistencies and affect database performance. In my SQL, you can reduce replication lag by optimizing queries, increasing network bandwidth, and using a multi-threaded replication setup. What is high availability and how do you achieve it in MySQL? High availability is the ability of a database system to remain accessible and operational even in the event of failures or outages. In MySQL, you can achieve high availability by using techniques such as database clustering, replication and failover. What is database security and how do you ensure it in MySQL? Database security is the process of protecting a database from unauthorized access, theft, or damage. In MySQL, you can ensure database security by using strong passwords, encrypting sensitive data, restricting user access, and auditing database activity. What is backup and recovery, and how do you perform them in MySQL? Backup and recovery are the processes of creating and restoring database backups to protect against data loss or corruption. In MySQL, you can perform backup and recovery using techniques such as full backups, incremental backups, and point-in-time recovery. That's it for this video on frequently asked database questions for advanced MySQL developers. We covered some common questions about query optimization, partitioning, replication lag, high availability, database security, and backup and recovery. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.